morning and welcome to, I, I will have to say this is Sandy G's kitchen, virtually Sandy G's kitchen. Sandy G's in her kitchen, but what she's going to be doing today is to educate, I say all of us, right? Because there have to be a lot of on all, they will feel like on a know-how for make fried jacks. When the friends come down the halls for the longest and say, oh my God, you make the best fried jack. But that's about to change today. You know, um, Sandy G, good morning. Welcome. How are you? Good morning, Rhonda. I'm so happy that you're here. I'm so happy that the other people are here in the audience on Facebook Live. Thank you for joining me. Excellent. What are we going to be doing today? Well, today we will be making Fry Jacks. I know Fry Jack is a Belizean favorite, but not only a Belizean favorite. Um, there are so many people that visit Belize and love Fry Jacks. And also, um, Fry Jacks is very similar to beignets. Beignets is very popular in Louisiana. In New Orleans, if you go to New Orleans, you cannot leave without trying the beignets. Um, the, the only thing about that is that Fry Jacks is a little easier to make than beignets. Well, excellent. Right. Uh, for the ones that I, I, I started this conversation, like everybody know who Sandra is. So please allow me to um, allow you to tell us a little bit about yourself. You have your own YouTube channel. You're a Belizean. You live abroad. Um, you're an excellent cook. So tell us a little bit more about yourself. Well, you know, I've been uh, working on this YouTube uh, cooking show for a very long time. And um, I start and then I get, you know, I get a little bit discouraged and then I might stop and get my hands into something else. But for some reason, I kept being drawn back to, to doing the, the cooking. So um, I am newly inspired. I have new ideas on how to get this thing going. So um, I woke up this week and I said, you know what? I need to get back on this uh, cooking show. I need to get back and get out there and share what I have. Because I have met so many awesome people along the road that have encouraged me. And um, when I think of giving up or not doing it, I think of some of those people that say, Sandra, you can do it. We enjoy it. Go ahead and do it. I learned so much. I like why you do this. I often think of this. Um, lady that passed away maybe two or three years ago, Miss Anne. I met her at a party once. I didn't know her. She came up to me. She's like, you're Sandra, right? I said, yes. She's like, oh, oh my goodness. I really enjoy what you're doing. My husband and I, we sit and we watch you all the time and we try out some of the things that you do. And it really touched my heart, you know, because I didn't know this lady at all. And she came up to me with all this encouragement. And so when I think of, you know, I'm not doing this anymore. I think of those people, people like that, you know, that have encouraged me. And this week I went on my YouTube because I have a YouTube uh, channel, Sandy G. And I saw that some of my recipes, like my rice and beans had gotten so many thousands of views, my panades. And I said, you know what? There are people out there who are um, supporting. I know uh, Mike, I believe Mike is online right now. That's, um, he's also always encouraging. He's my number one fan. He always makes sure to comment on the, um, on the line. So on the comments on YouTube, so. Uh, things like those are very encouraging. So if you're here and you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. If you have subscribed, try to get someone else to join you because I have other ideas about things that I'll be doing um, on the show. Um, but Rhonda, yes, sorry. let's get started with the fry jacks. I hope you have your ingredients and everyone else out there too. I had made a little note on the message that you need flour, you need uh, baking powder, salt, a little bit of shortening and some water. So um, let me share the ingredients. So the first thing I have is I have three cups of flour. I'm going to add that to my bowl. I have a, 
an old fashioned kneading bowl that I'm going to use. So put in your three cups of flour. Rhonda, do you have your three cups of flour? I have my three cups of flour. I mean, yesterday when we were going through this and I didn't take the right instructions, I said, you know what? That's not going to happen again today. I have to learn to listen. So I have put my three cups of flour in here. All right. So I also have three teaspoons of baking powder. I'm going to add that. So make a little well in the middle and then we'll add the ingredients in. So I've added the three teaspoons of baking powder. I have one teaspoon of salt. I'm using a pink salt, but any salt is fine. And for the shortening, I only use just a little bit. So I use like one teaspoon of shortening for this uh, recipe. This amount of fry jack will feed about three people. That's if you don't have those people that love fry jack so much that they will just keep popping and will leave someone up. But normally I could get at least three people to eat um, out this recipe right here. So as I'm talking to you, Rhonda, let me show you what I'm doing here. This is what I'm doing. I'm slowly mixing in the um, ingredients that I added to the flour. Now you will need one cup of water. Are you with me so far, Rhonda? Listen to me, I am right here. I am not missing a beat. I putting all the ingredients ahead of time because normally I'm a little slow. The only thing that I did not put in yet is the water. And I have- All right. So we're okay. going to slowly add the water, all right? Okay. And you sometimes you might need just over a, a cup, but when you're doing this slowly, you can monitor the, um, the state of the dough, you know? Okay. Do you have a kneading bowl like I do, Rhonda? No, it's like you took the thought out of my head. I don't have a kneading bowl like you do, but I have a nice granite counter here that will have to suffice today, okay? This, okay. it will have to work. All right, I will use my counter for a uh, part of this too though, because I can't, when, I, when it's time for me to roll out the dough, because the, the bowl has that curve in it, I won't be able to do that as easily. Okay. Continue mixing in, Rhonda. Um, oh, and um, Rhonda, do any of the people in our, in our audience have a question or do they have any comments? No, I can't, no. I can't no, tell. No, nobody has a comment yet. Uh, good morning to you, Louisa. Good morning to all the people in the room. I think the people came here to see if they will end, if I will end up with fried biscuit or fried jack. I think that's really why they're here. They wanna see if I can take the instruction because they are for sure that they and you will make perfect fried jacks. But- and I know Louisa is my sister-in-law. Yep. Thanks for the support. Right, and she is probably holding her breath thinking, make me see where we know I'll make. I will make exactly when, Sandra said for make, you know, why can't I know how to take instruction? Oh, well, I hope so, Rhonda. <laughs> I was talking to my brother earlier. He said, this is too late to be making breakfast. Oh, man. Well, you know, the good thing is, like you said yesterday when we were having that chat, that you don't have to use all today. Oh, use no, I will talk about that, too. Yeah. And it's perfect time for breakfast. It's Sunday. All right, is your dough coming together, Rhonda? I think so. I, this is what my dough looks like right now. Let me just kind of put it there so you can look and see. Okay, it's it. coming together. You want to um, knead it until it's smooth. Get all the, I'm getting all these little pieces in. This is good for your fingers, Rhonda. Like therapy for my hands? Yes, great therapy. Um, I think what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to take it out of the um, 
out of the bowl and kind of move it to the counter. Okay. A little bit more action. I wonder if anyone else out there is uh, making their fry jacks now too. Well, Did it's, anyone? The best, it's the best fry jack hands <laughs> Well, thank you, Rhonda. Well, you can say it, I have a believer. Thank you for that vote of confidence. But you know, if you look for my shirt, why your clothes look so perfectly clean and mine look all white? I know you can't see from this camera, but I look dusty. <laughs> oh, you do? I can't you have to be careful, Rhonda. I, have to, I mean, I have to sharpen up my skills, but... You have, to learn to be, you have to learn to be in the kitchen, but not look like you just step out of a kitchen. You know what, Sandy G? That's going to take a little time, because I promise you, if I didn't look down, I feel like I do everything perfect, and then I look down, I'm sure I have a stupid floor. I don't imagine how. All right, Rhonda, how is, how is your meeting coming along? I'll, I have to show you so you can tell me if I need to do more or not. Can you see it? Okay, I can continue and, and need it some more. Oh, no. I see you have company. You know what? My mother needs a little time. Oh man. Good morning. You see why I don't do you see why I don't do lives? Um but you know what, Sandra? you this is who the real life is. You have your dog, you have my mother making all the noise. People have them pick me. You understand? It's not a typical Sunday morning. All right. So the, the door should really feel very pliable, uh, Rhonda, and easy, easy to, um, it shouldn't be stiff. It should be very pliable. And if it's not that way, continue to work, work your dough. What I'm going to do right now, Rhonda, is I'm going to turn on the heat on my pan. I think I should do the same. And the only reason why I'm doing that is because I have I have previously made um made a batch of um, dough. Okay. Because when I'm done with this, I'm not going to fry it right away. I'm going to leave it for at least 20 minutes. So this will be left for like 20 minutes for it to set. And then I'm going to um, fry. I guess Mimosa is giving us a little commercial break. Yeah, Mimosa, Mimosa, like we're in the mix, right? That has to be Sunday. So um, no, Rhonda, I have split the dough into two. And now I'm going to, uh oh, I'm going to continue to work this. This is some fun. And then set it aside for 20 minutes. For 20 minutes. So this mm -hmm. is the part where the other people in the kitchen, they might start to fry their sausage or make an egg or whatever. Yes, and do the other sides. Yeah, if they're going to fry eggs or beans or any of that stuff, you can, you can work on that now. Let me wash my hands and get some of this dough off. Okay. While you're doing that, I'm going to be preparing the same bowl because I feel like they are put my fry jack in the dough first. All right. If you're just joining us, this is Sandy G. Well, Sandy G is the person doing the instructions today, teaching me how to make, as Sandra, as Sandra knows, Louisa would say, the best fried jack ever. All right. So all I, know, I want to try it. You know what I could do? I could try it with the same recipe that Sandra just put out. You can find her on YouTube at Sandy G and send up put a picture of your fried jack with this recipe. Or if oh, you, yeah, or they can even post it on my Facebook. Or you can put it on her Facebook page. On Facebook, she's Sandra. 
or you can put it in this live because this live is also on her Facebook. You don't have to do it this minute. If you're doing it along with us, great. If you're not, whenever you use this recipe and you make your fried jack, post a picture and tag Sandra Sandra in it. So we can see what all on a fried jack look like, okay? I am going to do just that. All right. So the great thing about this, Rhonda, I'm not going to use this today. I'm going to use the one that I made earlier. So I can stick this in a bag and put it in the, um, you can put it in the freezer and, and then just thaw it out when you're ready. Or you can keep it in the fridge. Yeah. And when you want to use it, let's say you want to use it tomorrow. I would put it in the fridge and then take it out, let it go to room temperature, and then you can use it. All right. I have a question. Yes, go you ahead. Put it in the freezer. Um, I have never put it in the freezer. Is putting it in the freezer an option? Yeah, you can put, I, I put it in the freezer and then I take it out. I sit it in the refrigerator overnight. And then in the morning, I, um, I just put it on the counter and let it go to room temperature. That's a good tip because I didn't know that when I would put it in the fridge and my fried biscuits, they were not really fried jacks, but when I put my fried biscuits in the fridge before, and I don't use them for a few days, I throw them out because I say, well, it's done. But now that I know I can put them in the freezer, that's a good tip. I think it's because you probably didn't let, um, let it get to room temperature. I've never done it. But now that I know I can. Oh, okay. All right. So let me get my, my bowl out of the way because. You need this. No, I'm going to move to the next part. And here now is where I will um where I will roll out the dough that I previously uh, that I made this morning. All right, do we have any comments online, Rhonda? We have quite a few people. Eno, good morning to you. Doris, good morning to you. Shirley, Shaw, Clifford, Stephanie, all of you this morning, morning to Uno. I sure that you're going to watch. This is going to be the best fried jack ever. All right. Some of you might want to tag your partners because some people have partners that feel that they could make the best fried jack. Kind of like how I feel before yesterday. And then Sandra came so, so. Here, this is the dough I made earlier. See okay. how soft and pliable it is. I'm going to roll it out. And here I have a rolling pin. And you could you can feel the difference after you um, let it set, you know, you actually feel the difference in the texture. Yes. I'm going to flip it over. looks so wrong. Mine look like one. Yes. Well, it's not quite wrong. I'm just work. Well, you have to work with it, you know? You, um, and listen, it's not the shape or it's how it tastes, Rhonda. So if it's wrong, but it comes out the way you want after your fright, it's still the thing. It's a taste, you know? But I mean, I, I don't, I know you don't want it. Um, with this made up. Why look good to me? So you see, I worked with my fingers a little bit to, to work on this, getting it round. Okay. Yeah, what I was trying to say just now is you want it to look appetizing too, you know? The people that will look at mine will eat it and drink. They they have to be artists because mine looks a little, the shape is a little challenging, but we're gonna go with the taste and how if it blows up. Those are the deciding factors. All right, one of the things you would want to do right now too is make sure you have your, your oil for frying, make sure it's being heated. Okay. And I want you to put enough oil like as if you're deep frying something, okay? You'll put enough oil, like if you're doing a deep fry, and make sure it's very hot. Sometimes when I fry the first one, it really doesn't come out the way I want, but that's okay. 
by the time number two and three get in, everything is perfect. The oil is at the right temperature and um, everything is ready to go. And one of the things I like to do too is take off a little piece, roll it, drop it in the frying pan and see how it, test it, you know, as my tester. All right. Good morning, everyone in the live. Thank you for being here. I am not used to being on live. I usually like to do pre-recorded things because you don't know what will happen while you're on the live. I don't know if I see. This is exactly <laughs> you. You say that, and you don't like to do lives, but I am a cook, and I would hate for people to start to make fun of me when they say, "Oh, you see how your fried up come out like this." Kid? As right now, a lot of them are waiting to see if mine not come out like yours. Mine not come out just like Sandy G's. You know why? Because I pay attention. All right, I'm going to cut this up and then I'm going to move my camera over to the stove. All right, while you're doing I put on my tester and it looks good. So let me just show you how I usually do this part. I usually take a knife and just cut it. <laughs> nothing, nothing too fancy, Rana. Listen to me, yours is very fancy. If I show you how mine look, I look like a eye. So that's it. Now I'm going to move the camera over to the stove. All right. Like I said, these are some of the challenges of being on a live. It's just the life. It's beautiful. All right. Can you see? Can you see this, this, uh oh, you know? I'm gonna see the beans. Right. There, perfect. All right, good. So you see the little piece that I dropped in? Yes. You see it? This golden. Can you see it? Yes. All right, so this tells me that my oil is ready. And I'll just put in one first, because I said sometimes you don't feel bad if your first one mess up. It always happens. All right, I put in my first one too. Let's see. Ah, I'm feeling a little nervous. Oh no, it's not, it's it's not, it's not uh, messing up at all. I don't know, I don't know. It's doing the right thing. But remember guys, this is the dough I had rested. So you have to let it rest in order for you to get this happening. You did say that the first one, no, no, if the first one don't come out the way you want it, no feel so bad. No, don't, don't, don't. Well, I'm gonna put my money on this first one because I don't know what the second one will look like. <laughs> so your first one came out nicely, Rhonda? It's, it's making progress. At least it's all of it is not still stuck together. I see an erasing of it. And that's the dough that you prepared yesterday, right? Yes. All right, so make sure that they know you made that dough yesterday. If yes. they would have just done it straight out of what we just did, I don't think it will really do that, okay? Listen to me now. See all our own unbelieving Thomas out there? If Sandra could make my fried jack look like this for thousands of miles away, ay, ay, ay. What if I made that? Eh? See how this instruction works like, like magic? All right. So Rhonda, I'll probably fry maybe two more because what I'm doing today, I'm going to plate I'm going to plate a sweet and a savory um, fry jack breakfast, okay? okay? Some like sweet, some like savory. So I'm going to give you a sample of both. So let me just fry two more so I can do that. Well, I just want to show you that my fry jack kind of getting puffy, okay? There. Yeah. 
Keep your head up. Look at it. No? And try to show them the fried jack when you come out puffy. Sure. Just like um, you. Is it? It did. I'm proud of you, Rhonda. Well, I am proud of you. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you um take a picture and put it on my my Facebook or on make a comment on the YouTube because I really need the comments and I also need more people to subscribe. And what is your YouTube channel's name? Um, Sandy G. And sometimes it's hard to find, so do Sandy G and put foods and then I'm definitely coming up. All right. I mean, my first one came out good. No, I'm, everybody's saying, good job, Rhonda. Good job, Sandy G. My thing oh, is, good. I'm a little nervous about the second one because I cut it a little smaller, but I, me, I am cooking and praying at the same time, okay? <laughs> Well, there's nothing wrong with a little prayer, Rhonda. No, definitely not. We need it. Anyway, Rhonda, one of the reasons I wanted to get on this live today is because um, remember I mentioned that I'm doing some changes. Yes. So what I'm looking for, I'm looking for people that want to sponsor a show. So every time I do a recipe, I'm looking for sponsors and I'll have different tiers for sponsors, and it will include a little contribution because um, doing the work, you know, I have to spend, and it, it costs to keep up with everything. So I wanna see if I, I know there are people out there that support because one of the first people that um, suggested this for me is a friend of mine, um, Gilbert. And actually, Gilbert had sponsored a show um, maybe about last year. When I did this, he had sponsored. He's like, Sandra, I'm going to pay for the ingredients and I'm going to support you to do what you're doing. So I'm adding to this in that what I'm doing, I'm looking for sponsors. And if you're in the LA area or if you're visiting LA and you want to come over, I'm going to invite you into my home. And this is going to be a meal for you. So it's not just that I'll say you sponsored the show, but you will actually be able to come here and learn how to do the recipe with me for a fee because you're sponsoring. So, and you can bring a guest with you and you will be served. If it's some, a breakfast item I'm making, you will be here, we'll do it like a little brunch. If it's a um, dessert, I'll definitely have food to go along with that. So it's going to be like a meal. So your sponsorship will involve you uh, being a part of an entire meal. And we'll sit and talk. If you have a business and you wanna talk about it, then we'll use the time to talk about your business too. Thanks. The next time I come to LA, I want to have to come to your kitchen because by then I want to be your fried job making assistant. All right. Well, that sounds good, Rhonda. The pandemic has caused a lot of changes. Yeah. So I'm not ruling out doing this online with someone that's not in LA, but they still they still feel like they would want to um, contribute and help me as a and sponsor. So we can do a Zoom if that is what they want. So all, there are many ways for us to do things. So don't feel like, oh, I'm not going to LA. Oh, I'm not, I don't live there. And um, even so, you, if you just want to sponsor, that's all right too. I'm going to be grateful and acknowledge you for, for being a part of this new venture or this new and improved venture. One more dome. So what I'm going to do next, Rhonda, I'm going to wrap this up and then just show um, show the audience what I'm having for breakfast. And I'm doing two plates. I'm doing a sweet and I'm doing a savory. And so they can get a glimpse of what to expect when they sponsor and they come over and sit down and have a meal with me and talk. 
Actually, I'm a very good counselor, you know. <laughs> ah, I'm a very good counselor. I'm good at giving advice, Haranda. You, you listen to me. Let me, let me. let me share this camera with you. Because <laughs> call you up in the morning and she says, you know, I have a feeling. I'm like, oh, my, it's going to be great. Most of the time it is. Wait, Rhonda, I can't hear you. Hold on. I have my super fry drop going on right here, okay? What did you just say? I said, you, it's the truth. Sometimes you call me up in the morning out of the blues just to tell me something. That, that, that fry jack looks like you're consumed with fry jack right now. This kitchen cool and I just sweat. It's the pressure. The pressure is on, okay? Oh, I have you on the pressure on now. You, the viewers, everybody, because anyhow my fry jack come out like this, this one be the talk of the town today. But it's good to know that my fry jack come out fabulous. Yes. So right now I'm going to show you this, um, the sweet version of my breakfast. Like I said, I have a sweet and I have a savory. So this is the sweet version. I have a little strawberry. I put some honey and powdered sugar. Rhonda, are you seeing my plate? Uh, your plate is highlighted. Everybody's only seeing your plate. Yes, so this, and then I have a, a strawberry uh, cream cheese. So this is a sweet. And now let me show you my savory. Looks really good. Rhonda, check the live, please. Yeah, my watch the people. Lisa said it looks really, really good. Uh, Did they like the sweet version? They love the sweet version. Uh, Robinson said, said, I don't know where to get nice fried jack from. Oh, so that means you're having guests, Rhonda. <laughs> the good thing is they don't know where I'm there. And Here's my savory platter, Rhonda. I have some refried beans. I have some sausage, a little bit of a, avocado, and uh, happy cow cheese. That looks really, really good. So when you're my guest, when we're doing something here, um, I'll always have different versions of things. Right now, the sausage on my plate is a plant-based sausage. I'm trying this out. So um, if you tell me I'm vegetarian, or I will try to accommodate whatever it is that you eat when you're coming over. Um, one more thing I wanted to say, Rhonda. I wanted to say thank you all for joining me. I look forward to your sponsorship, your friendship, and your subscription. Thanks, Rhonda. Have a great day, everyone. Thank you, Sandeji. Thanks for the people that joined us this morning. We really appreciate the, the support and the company. Until we meet again, I say be kind to yourself. Remember to check out the Facebook page called Sandra Sandra. That is where you can get the direct link to uh, Sandra's YouTube channel. It's called Sandeji on uh, YouTube. Sandra, again, I say thank you for the ones in the room. I say thank you. Now I'm going to go eat my fried jack with what? More fried jack. Is it going to be sweet or savory, Rhonda? My fried jack is so good, I will just eat fried jacks today, okay? <laughs> You're eating your fried jacks with fried jacks? Yes, that is what well, I'm maybe, maybe you can get one of the um, one of the great meats and, and sausages and things you have out there to go with your food. Yes, I'm going to do something with it, but definitely I'm going to be eating fried jack. I'm going to be eating. All right. Have a great day, everyone. Happy Sunday and have a blessed week. Bye. Um, inbox me if you want to do the sponsorship. Rhonda, I almost forgot. What? Guess what? The next recipe I want to do, and I'm looking for a sponsor, I want to make some comforters. 
Kong fritters. So I'm looking for a sponsorship for my Kong fritters recipe. And I know that's a favorite, so I'm expecting to get some sponsorship out of that one. Have a fabulous day, everyone. Bye.